In this video, we're going to use the idea that if we have a stationary system of objects, if the net external force acting on that system is zero, then the center of mass of that system stays stationary. And so the situation we have, we have Romeo and Juliet sitting in a canoe. And then Juliet moves from one end of the boat over to the same end of the boat that Romeo is on. And the, this is going to cause the boat to shift in the water and we're going to figure out how far the boat moves when this happens. So first, just looking at a picture of the situation, we have Juliet over on the left side of the boat. She has a mass of 57.1 kilograms. We have Romeo on the right end of the boat. He has a mass of 91.3 kilograms. And then the boat itself has a mass of 81 kilograms. And we're going to assume that the boat is symmetric, so that the center of mass of the boat is right at the center of the boat. We're going to then calculate where the center of mass of this three object system is. So we're going to take the left end of the boat where Juliet is as x equals zero and calculate the center of mass relative to that point. We're told that the boat is 3.79 meters long. So Juliet's at a position x equals zero. Romeo is on the other side of the boat at the position x equals 3.79 meters. And again, because the boat is symmetric, its center of mass is right at the center of the boat. So half of 3.79 is 1.895 meters. And so to calculate the center of mass, it's m1x1 plus m2x2 plus m3x3, all divided by the total mass. So we have the mass of Juliet, 57.1 kilograms times her position, zero meters, plus 81 kilograms for the boat times 1.895 meters. That's where we consider all of the mass of the boat to be located. And then we have Romeo, 91.3 kilograms times his position, 3.79 meters, divided by the total mass, all three masses added together. In the numerator, we have 499 0.522 kilogram meters. In the denominator, that total mass is 229.4 kilograms. And so this gives us an x coordinate of the center of mass of 2.178 meters. Again, because Romeo is more massive than Juliet, the center of mass is over in between the center of the boat and Romeo, closer to Romeo than it is to Juliet. And now we're going to look at Juliet moving over to Romeo. As she walks to the right, the friction between her feet and the boat causes the boat to shift to the left. And so we still have x equals zero where the left end of the boat was, but now it has shifted d meters to the left. And so that means that everything that's on the boat also shifted d meters to the left. So now the center of the boat is not at 1.895 meters, it's at 1.895 minus d. It was over here at 1.895, now it shifted d meters over, so it's 1.895 minus d. Romeo and Juliet are both over here on the right side of the boat, and that position of the right side of the boat is the length of the boat, 3.79 meters, minus d, the distance that the boat shifted to the left. And so we can calculate the center of mass of this three object system again, and we know that that center of mass still must equal 2.178 meters. So the center of mass is the boat, 81 kilograms, times the position of the center of the boat, which is 1.895 minus d, plus we have Romeo and Juliet together, so we add their two masses together, 57.1 plus 91.3, and we multiply by their position, 3.79 meters minus d. We still divide by the total mass, 81 plus 57.1 plus 91.3, which is still 229.4 kilograms. And we know that this center of mass, in this new case, still must equal 2.178 meters. That was our center of mass at the beginning. So then just multiplying things out, 81 times 1.895 is 153.495. 81 times negative d is minus 81d. 
And so this mass of Romeo and Juliet together, 148.4 kilograms times 3.79 is 562.436. And then that mass times negative D is negative 148.4 D. And so that numerator divided by the total mass of 229.4 kilograms equals 2.178. So 153.495 plus 562.436 is 715.931. Negative 81D minus 148.4D is negative 229.4D. And then 229.4 times 2.178 is 499.633. And so taking negative 229.4D to the other side and subtracting 499.633 over to the left-hand side, we have 216.298 equals 229.4 times D, or D, the distance that the boat moved to the left, is 0.9429 meters. So Juliet moving to that right side of the boat caused the boat to shift almost one meter in the water. The key idea in this problem is because at the beginning, all three of the objects were at rest. That means that the center of mass was at rest. When Juliet moves, there's no external force on the system of the three objects. And so if the net external force is zero, then the center of mass will stay stationary. And so if we know the center of mass at the beginning, we can use that to figure out how far the boat shifted to the left.